Ziggy, man. This is it. Book me now, Pac. Here. Why should they book you or not? Shit, because I'm the dopest direct there in the world. <laughs> hey, you talking about book me or not, nigga? This shit going to get shot regardless. <laughs> Nah, I don't pack that. Leave oh, everybody. I'm locked in. We're about to get the Let's take off. We going up from here. 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 Yeah. We going up from here. 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 Up there. We going up from up here. There, What's going on, man? It's your boy, Derek the G, man. Made Solid TV, Bookman Not Podcast, man. We got a special guest, man. The one and only. And he got the whole team with him, man. Ziggy, man. What's going on, What's going on bro? with you, my boy? I appreciate man, you having know, me, man. Your family. And um, we want to get it started, man. Go ahead. How you came up with Zone, the series? Like, the word, the meaning, the title. How you came up with that? Well, it was actually just me running around my neighborhood with the camera just filming crazy shit filming jay fighting <laughs> jay eating cigarettes yeah. just you know, jay jumping off of houses just doing all kind of weird shit you feel what i'm saying so it really just spiraled into that which you know what i'm saying just gave me the passion to just keep fucking with the shit like you know what I mean? Like it just spiraled into a whole, whole different whole situation to the where the point where I started telling people what this, where to stand and how to stand and what to say and how to say it. Well, and so it grew from that into me saying, "Well, look, I want to make a show about. I want to make my own TV show about Atlanta without calling it Atlanta uh, because well, it's already a TV show called Atlanta. So I wanted to make another. I wanted to. I wanted to find a name." that right. represented Atlanta without saying Atlanta. And I came up with so, uh, Atlanta is always, we known for zones, you know what I'm saying? Like zone one, zone three, zone four, five, six, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I came up, it's even in the logo. If you if you really look at the logo hard. Well, I ain't never noticed the, it. It's the actual zones of it, you know what I'm saying? All the zones inside of this. One, two, three, Four, six. But you know what? Um, when I think of zone, I think a song, uh, a song you had with uh, Bob a while back. Uh, Y'all jacked at the Dola beat. Yeah. The zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That made me think of that. You know what I'm saying? Actually, got introduced to you through um, from music through uh, Balkum. Right. A while back, you know what I'm saying? I used to beat y'all music faithfully. So, right. you know what I'm saying? Um, how is it taking the transition from music it just it, uh, it really it really all started from just wanting to see my own vision you feel what I'm saying i would want to shoot my own video for some weird reason you mm -hmm. feel me because i always just had a passion about cameras and you know what I'm saying taking pictures of bugs and all kind of weird see it, it really just started <laughs> on some weird shit bro like you feel what i'm saying like well, just, yeah. just taking pictures of trees and rocks and bicycles spokes and all kind of weird shit but you know what i'm saying it just I, I just like pictures i just you know what i'm saying i just like clarity of pictures and trying to make them look different and oh, definitely. you know what i'm saying it just, i never went to school for it i don't know where it came from yeah i you know to be honest man the jay came through the hood and he had a camera and i bought it for <laughs> like 20 dollars and oh, it started yeah. from there and i never put it down from i never put yeah. the camera down yeah, yeah. Um, so speaking of Zona series, man, who you got with you today? I got my girl China Monet, aka Jasmine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> JJ on the show. JJ. I got my boy Swayze baby in here with me. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, his name Swayze. <laughs> As y'all would know what I'm saying? As he would say. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? They um they, they cast it on season two. Mm -hmm. You know, they two of the cast members on season two. Mm -hmm. um, Let's start with that though. His, 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 what he was saying, he was saying it before we even started shooting. So, <laughs> everybody know what is that? Like, say it first <laughs> and then let it know what it is. I mean, you know, that be my name, Sway. I mean, you know, like, it's self explanatory for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everybody got their tag. You know, Wayne had Young Moon Live Bag. Yeah, yeah you, know, man. you know, I'm an artist, so whatever. Yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my shit right there. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, tell us who, who you play in a zone. And are you in season one or are you just in season two? I'm in season two. two. Yeah, season two. two. Okay. Yeah, I'm in season two. Um, I'm JJ. JJ. Yeah. yeah. Who is JJ? Tell us about JJ. She basically the girl who just came from out of nowhere, basically from her hometown, which is the nine, Albany, Georgia, mm-hmm. coming to Atlanta to, you know, find some, the, you know, get work, move around. You know, mm-hmm. they get to know the city, know who, who got it, who don't got it, who I yeah. need to go, who I need to, you know what I'm saying, just make stuff happen in the city. So do you feel like any of her role that you play is mm-hmm. part of your life? Somewhat similarities, yeah. And what I, mm-hmm. The reason I love the show because it really feels so authentic, like, it just feels so real. Because, like, yeah. that's what's going on. You know, like, just being a part of it is dope. Well, definitely. And More definitely with me. I ain't <laughs> running through woods yeah. and shit. Yeah. So you feel like your character is is all the way is, if it match you who you are? What well, my character name was? <laughs> we started with a character. Yeah, easy the shit was. It like it started with a character name, and then as we kept shooting, having these different scenes and shit, we forgot the character name. I just was goddamn just do he was like fuck it, we just gonna call his ways in here. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, but it's not a D on the show, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it would be my name, Swayze, just stand out so much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel, I, I really just try to keep everything everything comfortable to people, mm-hmm. man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, definitely, definitely. Just, by, just by us not being, you know what I'm saying, the biggest professional, not having the biggest budget, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. stuff like that, man, I try to, I try to let people, you know, make it, where it's more easy for them to comprehend. We ain't, I ain't, we ain't using no scripts. Mm-hmm. I do have a script writer that we just implemented in season two, but like season one is all out of my head, bro. Like, yeah. it's just me running around with the camera, just thinking, standing on the spot, yeah, sitting around, saying. letting folks do what they do, and then I just stop them and say, hey, you, stand right here, hey. Tell her this, you gonna do this, then her to walk through the door, open the door, shoot the nigga <laughs> in the face. Yeah. You yeah. scenarios, like, exactly. like yeah. literally, like, literally. And, and it literally. make it, it make it easier for people that's, you know, that's not professional actors, or we haven't, you know, haven't been actual, been on the actual movie set or nothing. Whatever. They grasp it though. Yeah. The way I show it to them and tell it to them, we run through it a couple times and they grasp it. And the people and the people drawing into right it, down. so yeah, yeah and, right and the down, people loving down. the character. So if it ain't broke, I ain't trying to fix it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just been working how it's been working. So I just I'm just keep going with it until something else change, man. Somebody give me some money and say do it different. I'm gonna just keep doing it how I've been doing it, bro. Yeah. And, and maybe even when somebody try to give me some money, I'm gonna tell them, look, this how it work. This how it work for me. And if you like how it work. Then let me keep doing it like this. I don't care if you do give me some money. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I'd rather just keep doing it how it's been working because it's been working. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So how you go about choosing? Okay, say boom. You got the, you got them as characters. How you go and say like, okay, boom, she fit this or I'm gonna choose this person. How you go about choosing them to be in the film? It just, I, I just, it just all come. I just, all, it just all fall into place some kind of way. I actually know her DJ, been knowing her for years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ugly money, I've been seeing them around for years. And just, you know what I'm saying? Just looking on the internet and saying, look, I need a girl to play this, or I need a dude to play this role. And one day she was, she popped up and there she was, you feel me? And she was like, shit, I'm gonna pull up. I was like, shit, pull up. She pulled up. Hey, look, this what we gonna do. <laughs> what we gonna do? She pulled up with bro, I'm like, hey, bro, look, this perp, oh, boom, there's your, oh, boom. Well, y'all could do, we could do it like that. And they've been working for them, you know what I'm saying? They comfortable with it, I'm comfortable with it. That's just how I've been rolling with it, man. Yeah, I just see the personality. Yeah, I just see the personalities. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah, I can yeah, just yeah. stand back and just see the personalities and people and what they, what Can't they good at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What they, what they, you know, what they flaws is and what they strengths are too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, some yeah. people that don't like to talk much, I don't try to give them a whole lot of speaking roles. Yeah, I try yeah, to yeah. let them. You know what I'm saying? They might stand yeah, to the back better. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? True. And people that. You know, talk more, like to talk more and do more speaking roles like China mm-hmm. and Swayze. I let them talk and, you know what I'm saying, bring their personality across the screen. Well, definitely. What's the ultimate goal for the uh, Zone series? Man, what you want to manifest? Man, I want to man- manifest some expansion, some, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, some payroll checks for these mm-hmm. folks who've been putting in their hard work. 
you know what I'm saying? A, 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 a budget where we can break it down fair and get them some acting money, and you know what I'm saying? Get me a little acting money, cause I've been acting too, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? That was my next question, really. Actors, you know what I'm saying? I've been acting too, so I've been writing and- I seen you acting in a new new movie. Yeah, man. But it's still about that role that you play. Man, I saw you, you acting. Come on, I'm, man. I'm watching the movie. I ain't expect, I'm watching it. I'm mm -hmm. like, but. Yeah, I play now. Officer Thomas on, yeah. on, on New New the Movie. Well, y'all can check that out. It's on YouTube right now. She got about 230 some thousand views. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's been out two weeks or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people been saying they've been seeing me and that shit. So, I'm just trying to, you know, do what it do, man. Spread my wings with the acting with the directing, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing a whole lot of editing, you know what I'm saying? I got a script writer, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be the next time no, period. No, I'm, just to, I'm just trying to build a shit. I'm trying to build a brand, you know what I'm saying? That's all. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I hate it. Okay, okay. <laughs> without a dress, without a dress. <laughs> without without a dress. Keep it, keep it. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just trying to create opportunity for my people, you know, yeah. the people that are around me that have that been supporting. You know what I'm saying? That you know, I'm just trying to like build something for them, for all of us, man. You yeah. know what I mean? And I feel like I can build some like they with the, you know, <coughs> just doing the camera work with the camera. Cause I shoot videos and shit too. You know what I'm well, saying? I shoot documentaries. Right. We got a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Sneakers and Strand yeah, yeah. podcast. I'm just trying to, you know, put my feet in a little bit of everything, man. Whatever yeah. got down, pop up out of that motherfucker. We gonna got down, roll with it. So who who inspires Z? Man, the world, man. The earth, my turf, man. <laughs> the world inspired me. You might like you like my favorite movie, The Last Dragon, bro. Like I'm weird. People call me weird, cause goddamn boy, that they look at this and they think boys in the hood, my favorite movie. Mm. But it's not, you feel me? Mm. Last Dragon, That's my favorite weird. movie. Bruce Leroy, man. I got the glow, man, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all think I'm playing, man. All right. Hey, I'm looking for the master. I'm the master, you feel me? I've been looking for the master the whole time, man. I should have been looking in the mirror. That's all, man. It's just, you can learn a lot from moving, you know what I'm saying? Moving the inspiration. And it's just how you taking and what you run with. And you know what I'm saying? How you let it pertain to your life. And you know what I'm saying? How you let it drive, fuel you to, to do what you need to do. That's all. Oh, definitely. Yeah, man. You know, I got some merch, man. I brought some t-shirts and stuff for you, man. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you be ripping the brand, man. What size yeah. shirts you need? Uh, medium, man. I need that, Everybody man. want this <laughs> medium. <laughs> you hear me? Somebody <laughs> have me that bag over there. Somebody <laughs> have me that bag over there. And then we're going to go down the line. I got to ask a question, man. Uh, I'm going to start with my oh, boy. What's up? Uh, legacy, man. What you want to be known for when it's all said and done? It's a motivational podcast. So we everything we do is just... You dig deep and just trying to see what legacy, what you want to be known for. When they, when they say your name, what you want to be known for? Ooh, a person that was raw mm. and authentic and, oh, then give, and, and didn't give a fuck what nobody else felt. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm like, I'm a true believer in like, when you believe in something and you really want it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I see, I understand that it's different jobs and, you know, different shit for people like you get the, like the janitor is important you know what i'm saying i can't do yeah. janitor shit but that janitor can't do what i do mm. so like i'm i'm really a firm believer in, in believing in whatever you believe in don't let nobody else you know uh deter you from that you know what i'm saying yeah. get you off your path or get your mind off of whatever the fuck you really want to do you know what i'm saying yeah. parents about family whatever you know what i'm saying because they are not going to be the one to have to deal with the consequences if you fail us to see from that shit, so that's what I want to be known. A raw ass nigga. Definitely. Yeah, he gonna speak his mind. <laughs> I'm gonna do that way one thousand. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I can see what you want to be known for when it's all said and done. What's your, what's your name to be attached to? The the risk taker. Mm. Um, I can agree with that. I'm a risk taker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a risk taker for my family and for the world. Like uh -huh. I'm willing to do whatever to, to make things right, or whether it's wrong or right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Them motherfuckers say wrong or right, girl. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Yes, I'm a risk taker. You don't know what wrong is. Y'all, my business. <laughs> my y'all business. <laughs> <laughs> I 
do that with See, what you want to be known for, man, your legacy? I just want to be, just want to be known for a great director. You know what I'm saying? Fit, fit. Great filmmaker. Um, family man, you know, philanthropist, whatever they call that shit. Philanthropist. Philanthropist. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I just want to build something big, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Tyler Perry got a goddamn Fort Knox, man. I don't know what I can get bigger than that, man, but we gonna figure it out, man. You definitely got that. Get that yeah, I just want to create, a, be, yeah. be known for creating opportunity for other people, man. That's all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's um season two about? Season two about, man, season two is about the city, man. Season two about China Monet. <laughs> Got that <down>. Deech <laughs> Ways of Baby. Yeah, yeah. Baby Three. <laughs> Joe Green. OG Black. Got that Officer Walker. Officer <laughs> Strata. Got them a boy street, got them a boy. It's so many fuck this shit, man. It's about the city, man. It's about the street, man. But you know, if we were leaning toward baby three, we had a little mishaps, but we gonna keep it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? Free baby three. Well, definitely. Yeah, man. When, when you cast people who, who who are not actors but they rappers, like um, I think you had Jug. Uh, Joe man and one of them mm-hmm. in uh, season one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe man, right. Joe Green, people who just really rappers, but you making yeah. them to actors. How, how that like? Tell people like how that's going. On, like most of the time, they be reaching out. They be at, they be asking yeah. me. They be like, Z man, put me in the show. I be like, all right, no, I'm gonna put you in this shit for real. Now when I call, yeah, to pull up. Yeah, yeah, better pull up. And when I call, they pull up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just put that's it on. Right. Hey, stand right here. Say this. And I'ma say this back. You just turn it to film and exactly. make it work. Exactly, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just relationships, like, like you say, relationships, people I've been knowing around the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, my fake card good out here, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't left no bad, nothing bad on the pavement in the city, man. My, no. my name good out here. And All get right. what? My boy Z gonna show up on time. I'll play with him, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever play with him. <laughs> good bit. He good bit, man. Yeah, he ain't like that. Yeah. So yeah, man, we you know, we got shirts, you know what I'm saying? We got hoodies for sale, shirts, merch for sale that you know what I'm saying, that how we kinda keep keep things kinda going around here, man, cause it is a business. Things do cost money, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. So we just trying to figure out how to really just turn it into a, a a business and you know what I'm saying, create some income so like I say, we can just spread this shit around the right way, man. And where everybody can be treated fairly with this shit, man. Cause like I say, I appreciate everybody's time and their effort. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine. So we appreciate the opportunity. I, I would love, love to get them compensated for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's the goal. Now, that's the ultimate goal. You yeah. feel me? I'm saying yeah. I don't care where we land at, whether it's Netflix, BT Plus, or wherever yeah. we land, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm check. saying? Shout out to Miss Pat, man. She just won the Emmy for cussing on BET, man. <laughs> man, Miss Pat just yeah. won the Emmy for cussing on BET Plus, man. That <laughs> lady like be talking about all kind of shit, man. She <laughs> said she 50 years old. She'll she sell some pussy. <laughs> she'll cuss your ass out, man. Them folks showing that shit, and they loving it, bro. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? They loving it. They loving mm-hmm. the hell out of it, man. So shots out to Mid Pack, man. <laughs> I love comedy too, man. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I watch a lot of stand up yeah. comedy shows. I love, so, <laughs> I love so I love comedy. I be following a lot of comics, you know what I'm saying? So if it's in the comments out there, y'all wanna be on the show, man. Oh, yeah. Get at me. We I want, definitely need I want to some get more in there comedian. too, man. I wanna get in the role. I got you, man. You feel me? I got you. Somebody might shoot you, though. You feel me? I already know name, my watch. I, I prepared to die. Y'all name might shoot you. But when I seen it, I already, I already know. I, I figured I'm going to die already. Okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, we, we definitely. Like movies in you, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Like yeah, movies. Yeah, live movies. Like that. I don't want to be known as dying. I can't be in a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be in a sequel. 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 If I die, I can't be in a part two. Exactly. Exactly. But I be seeing three. people be dying, they be ending up, they be making the way, they be writing they self back in some type of yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> you died, How'd you die? How'd you die? movie. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, um, we're going to swing it back. Um, so, you, you're an artist. Mm-hmm. You're an artist. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just want to touch a little bit, Um, tell us about your artistry and everything you want to Okay, well, yeah, I'm an artist. I'm the first lady of Ugly Money Entertainment. 
Um, I've been actually been rapping and stuff for like two years. As soon as I got signed, like um, right before COVID or whatever. But I've been um doing it since high school. I started off writing verse. You know, mm-hmm. just um it started with my uncle in his studio and all that, mm-hmm. and just been building up my artistry and working and working and working. I really taught myself hands on like to do what I'm doing now. And you know, mm-hmm. my favorite artist right here been helping me along the way. Hey. So, um, yeah, it's been a blessing. So stuff. let's talk. Is this your first acting stuff, or you been doing acting? No, before? this is my first time. Oh, when yeah. it was my first time. So tell us the transact the transition from it's doing crazy. music to acting. Cause I always like I always wanted to do music, but I never thought I'd actually be an artist. But right. I always wanted to act too. Cause to me, I'm really a character. Like yeah. I like to do it all, and I feel like I can do it all. I feel like I can do cartoons, I can do comedy, I can do all of it, and rap and sing and all that too. Like I'm really an entertainer. Like my biggest thing about entertainment is performing. I love it. Like if I can't do nothing else, I can perform. What you, what you get is this margarita. It's her first time making from one to ten. <laughs> Like a sound went by. It's a little strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little strong. 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 It's a little I like my shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, definitely. So talk about um your artist, man. Let, let's let's know about artist life. Oh, the artist life. Uh, I really don't. I don't start writing a lot now. Okay. But I've been in the I've been in the music game for like twelve years. I like I signed with Slip and Slide in like '08, right after high school. Mm. So I've been in the music industry for a minute. I don't been on stage with Future. I've been on Two Chains, Walker when he was hot. Like a lot of whole like I've been I've been around for a minute. So definitely. Right now I'm I'm like writing. And I'm still an active artist as well, and I'm still performing because I got a fucking show to do this weekend. <laughs> well, definitely. But um, damn, uh, I was just this shit started when I was young, legit like nine years old. You know what I'm saying? Just watching my uncles. You know what I'm saying? And seeing the people, seeing them so close, you know, my uncle, and hearing the music and the quality of it, that shit. Just I felt like I could do it too. So I was inspired from the crib. You know what I'm saying? Okay. From uh, people in my family and others as well and i just continue right now i'm like an independent artist though you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah i'm independent right now you know what I'm saying? so this, this is your first uh acting uh or you first, been acting nah but I, I mean growing up as a kid you know power rangers and shit <laughs> acting like Fast. them and shit, <laughs> and shit you know but uh yeah in my first time i really appreciate the opportunity because i always wanted to do it just as far as uh the expansion or just get my name out there or my face out there more uh, I feel like the music game kind of changing. Music, it, it's like more than music. Like it was once upon a time, it was just hearing, and then it was like now we want to see that shit. So now and and and, and now, shit, you got artists just like shit, Boots and Fly. They ain't really making music. They they showing their personality. Yeah. So it's like I'm on that time. You know what I'm saying? I really I want to show my personality. Shit, my nigga, I just like these niggas. Like this, just me for real. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I just. Yeah, I always want to just be in front of the camera anyway. So when she got down, he'd be like, ooh, Z from the day. I'm like, shit, I can go. <laughs> yeah, he said, oh shit, I'm finna pull up then. But I'm get I already got a fan, babe. Let me get on the camera right quick so my fan can see a nigga acting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, yeah, man, it, it really is a, it's a, it's a, uh, a good ass experience for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's fun as fuck. Yeah, your boy got me. He, he be having me do like he say. He stand over there, hey, do this, run it, and I do it. He like, boy, you got that shit. Bam. I'm like, yeah, he making me feel like this, ain't like this bitch, boy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it, 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 it's 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 cool as fuck though. I'm enjoying this shit. What is what success mean to you, Ziggy? <sighs> man, that's a hard <laughs> question, man. Success could mean a lot, man. Uh-huh. It, I don't feel like it. It's it's never end. I don't feel like it's an end to yeah, it end go. Nah, man, cause it's always another level to go, man. Yeah. So, what's the what do you what do we yeah, call sure. success, man? Like, once you get to one level, you going you. I want to go to another level. Right. Mm-hmm. So I I, don't, I feel like it's it's, it's it's it just go yeah. to the top, man. Wherever the top lands at, wherever it end at, man. I get wherever the clock get cut off at. That was success. Boy. Oh, man, if, if if Ziggy could sit down with a younger self, what would Ziggy tell his younger self right now? Man, buy the 
camera the first time that Jay came through. Man, I passed up on them cameras so long, but I was like, man, you know what, man? Give me that camera right now. It was a little newer than the last one you had. You feel me? Buy the camera quick. Buy the, get, get a Jada $20 for the camera. <laughs> The first camera he came through with, that, you feel what I'm saying? I probably would have had a two, two year mo, a two year start on this shit if I'd, if you know what I'm saying? I passed up, but man, my na- man, folk come through with all kind of stuff in my neighborhood, and Joker pass up on a lot of stuff, yeah, and them cameras right. and them computers and laptops is a lot of stuff what niggas were passing up on. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna talk you down, cause don't nobody want it but me. So look, <laughs> you want 40, I'm gonna give you a 20 for that laptop. And I'm gonna give you a 10 for the camera. So what we gonna do? You can keep walking with it. And boy, they went for it one day, and boy, I've been moving ever since. And buying shit, now I can't find no J with no cameras. I'm buying shit off Amazon. Now I'm oh, the J. Now I'm the J on Amazon, buying lights and cameras. And, <laughs> Microphones, motherfucking lenses. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn to the J, man. So it's all good, man. What well, made you, know you start man? getting into the merch, man, and uh, pressing the merch? I just, man, I just see, I just see it. It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? It's a lucrative market, you know what I'm saying? And it's a good way to have the stuff seen when I'm not around, you feel me? Because if right. I give you a shirt, you going back to where you going, he going back to Cardell. Yeah. She may pop up at all Benny with it on. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm on the yeah. west side or mm-hmm. east side, Stone Mountain right. somewhere. Right. I might be on Boulder Creek. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody else, I might give two on to to old one to some J. They might be down on more Drive at the hotel. So it really just spread the spread the word without me having to spread the word so hard. Joe would be like, right. man, I seen I seen right. somebody at Walmart with that same shirt on, man. Right. <laughs> So it just, you know what I'm saying? Really just spreading, the, keeping the word, spreading the word, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? Possibly keep some revenue coming in where I could do a little extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? Cause I really want to buy, buy a goddamn Winnebago or something and be traveling. Cause I want to go to Cardell and shoot some scenes. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Albany and shoot some scenes, but I want to find a way to cut costs, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How to get them hotel rooms. Rent a car and all that shit. I just want me a goddamn Winnebago, wrap that motherfucker with his own logo, full of t shirts, and I'm going on tour like a rapper with my camera <laughs> and my t shirts. You feel what I'm saying? Because oh, what folks don't understand, man, like in smaller town, folks still white DVD, man. True. It crazy. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. man. man, folks still white. Everybody, them folks, everybody ain't got, um, Twelve ninety nine to pay Amazon Prime every month, bro. Folks still buy DVDs, still listen to CDs in some of these towns, bro. Yeah. <coughs> yeah see here, what we gonna do if the power go out? What we gonna do if we ain't got no Wi Fi? Yeah. You gonna buy? You gonna crank that goddamn PlayStation up, bro? <laughs> boy, that boy, Joe, you gonna have to cut that PlayStation. He gonna have to cut that grand stuff out for a minute. Cause you finna white zone. On DVD <laughs> tonight, <laughs> you tonight. feel me? But yeah, man, it just you know what I'm saying. I'm just I'm just glued to the street, man. You know what I'm saying. I just you know been trying to stay grounded, man. Figure it out from the from the ground level up, man. You know what I'm saying. Of course, we want the streaming dollar, man. But the streaming dollar, man, so they so pennies on the dollar, man. Why we got to conform to what they saying? You feel what I'm saying? Boosie don't be going that route, man. He, yeah, he make you buy that shit, Shana. You feel Boosie. me? Boosie dot com, like form. Yeah, man. he make he make them for buy that yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. And you can't do nothing but respect it. You feel me? From an independent right. level. Mm-hmm. So you know that's all we trying to do, man. Just grow and, and, and build from the from the ground level and not sell ourselves short, man. We already selling ourselves short on YouTube because we ain't monetizing, mm-hmm. man. The channel ain't even monetized. You feel me? They got so many rules and regulations. Uh-huh. They be but they be flagging my shit. They flag. They'll flag. They done flag some shit. And this man sitting right here with us. 
You still say it. You remember I told you? Oh, you remember I told you I put your song on there? I said, man, he fucked that flag. And my music like that. I can't even put it on my TikTok right now. I gotta get in touch with everybody. But about your own music. Own shit, you see though. what I'm saying? Yeah, my nephew had in touch. He had to go through the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Mama did something. I gotta get in touch with my sister if she did, but he couldn't put his on the Instagram yeah. for a long time. Yeah, and that just come from that just come from um the artist not knowing what's really in the fine print of that distro kid contract and that you know what I'm saying Apple Music contracts and stuff like that what they be signing up for you know what I'm saying they they feel like cause they signed up for free the folk got some back end contracts on 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 the bottom on page thirteen paragraph four for yeah you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So it be, you know what I mean? Really, where they say, God damn, did you read all the shit? And everybody click that box, <laughs> yeah, and keep going. <laughs> but you don't know what's on paragraph, page 13, paragraph four, but they gonna drill. Now, not necessarily drill you, but like, like bro say, make it hard for you to do shit that you wanna do. You feel me? Like I said, that man gave me permission to be up there on you, the yeah, music. Yeah, he yeah. sent me the fucking song <laughs> from his email. You feel what I'm saying? From the owner's email. This him. This is, he's an actor on the show. Yeah. He wants his music on the show. He doesn't want y'all to flag the fucking show that's yeah. got them helping all of us. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. How you go about picking your music for the um, man? Like I the, just uh, been using like independent artists. artists you know yeah. what I'm saying? That. <coughs> Fresh songs, you know what I'm saying? That they haven't registered on like Distro Kid and, and the platforms yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, and let them be like some exclusive songs for for the sound for the zone soundtrack. And everybody still, you still get everybody still get their same points. They still get their same royalties. It just Vote. Uh, I don't know what's on paragraph 13, page four of that <laughs> distro kid contract, boy, but yeah. it's something in that distro kid contract, boy. Yeah. It's some, it's, it's something like, like, bro, say, hey, he can't even put his own music on his TikTok page. Oh, uh, he's blocking. That's I crazy. see what it is. You have, to, you have to go on the TikTok, you know, when you look for your music. Yeah. Like, say, if I take a video from my phone, upload it. Mm. Man, no sign. But so I will have to take my music from TikTok and put it on TikTok. Well, TikTok yeah. just picked the I have shit an issue too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My shit got hacked, so all that shit came out of What about Tubi? Y'all messing with Tubi? Yeah, man, we got it. Just ways you have to go have through to go submitting to, it. Uh, you got to go through Film Hub and submit it. It takes six to eight weeks and mm. <coughs> all kind of stuff like this. So yeah. it's just a waiting game with them. Yeah. What you, what you want to manifest? <coughs> I'm not really, I'm learning like the older I get, money isn't everything. Um, just, I just want to live life. Huh? Oh, yeah, the friend we had before, they just said the same. I asked the same question. Uh, we had the Reds right before y'all came. The Reds the and he yeah. said the same thing you said. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> that's just all I want. <laughs> the big yeah, family. Yeah. What you want to manifest? Uh, success and that's really being able to do something that I love doing. Not working on nobody else's clock, you feel what I'm saying? Doing what I love doing and uh, being able to take care of people and shit. Shit that a lot of people stress about. A lot of people do yeah. crazy shit about, you know what I'm saying? Take risks for. I want to be able to do this music shit, this acting shit, this entertaining shit. And yeah, take care of my my people, you know my people. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. solid. Straight up. What what what's 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 bike life, man? Man, bike <laughs> life is my life, man. You know what's going on with me. <laughs> you know what the fuck is going on with me, man. Bike so going down for life, man. You know how that starts like, 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 like the whole movement start. Shit, me riding bike dirt bikes and four wheels and just running into different Jokers around Atlanta that do the same thing, got the same love, same passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a 60, Honda 60, man. I don't, I don't even, you feel it, like, I've been riding full of dirt bikes and all kind of go cars and all. 
all kind of other shit. Like I say, bro, I was a weird kid in the neighborhood. Like, why is the kid riding his go car all day? I don't want to talk to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home and smell like gas. You feel me? <laughs> Ride past y'all and do donuts in your yard yeah, while you ain't me. looking, man. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's all I've been doing. With scooter sprees. <laughs> My partner got sprees and all kind of shit. I had a ninja sit on it. <laughs> I had all kind of shit. Did you ever see yourself? When did you you know you want to do film? Like when did you see yourself? Like I said, when that J came, listen, <laughs> bro, listen, bro. You think I'm lying, man? That J used to come through with so many different little camcorders and say, "Yeah, nephew, this new shit right here. Why y'all got that? Y'all need." He trying to convince everybody to get in there. One day mm -hmm. he got down, got me, y'all. I'm gonna tell you, one day he got me. It was one of the little handheld that got the, the, put the tape in, the little small tape in it, bro. Mm. You got down, put the button on top of it, <laughs> it got that thing come on, it was a yeah. little, like a little cassette tape you put in the motherfucker, you close it back. What, what the Eastside menu? Shh, family, mm. respect, you know, just a, just, a, just a brotherhood, sisterhood, you know, a whole lot of family. I know a lot of people on the east side. You feel what I'm saying? I actually got down born in Fort Ward, and then my mama moved to Decatur. You know what I'm saying? And so when my mama moved to Decatur, we moved to like Lion Street. You know what I'm saying? Fairly Drive. I remember, mm -hmm. I never forget that dread. 27 million Fairly Drive. But it was right around the corner. You could walk Lion Street from the motherfuckers. So I used to, all my partners from was right there. They rock everybody to take, and then we moved to Catalina. You know what I'm saying? So it just man, I really just been back and forth my whole life, just just back and forth forward, you know what I'm saying, to the cater, you know what I'm saying, just back and forth. My daddy, my dad stayed in forward, and then he moved like John Burr South, but we got down we ain't, ain't really fuck with him like that. So got down after that, I just been moving around the east side, you know what I'm saying, kicking it. Mm -hmm. uh, tell everybody where you from. Albany, Georgia. Hey, what does Albany, Georgia mean to you? Oh man, it's you know they. It's a city, a community full of love and hate, mm. or whatever. Like you know, any other city, small city, but you know, everybody. So it's a lot of talent there too. Right. And um, it's really a it's. It's just like any other hoods, mm. any other place around the world. Just small city, but I was really raised in Tampa, mm. so yeah. I'm. Yeah. I left Albany when I was in like seventh grade and moved to Tampa and kind of got used to the city life. Like I'm used to big things, yeah. money, flashiness, <laughs> yeah. just like, that's what I'm used to. So I like I can't really speak on Albany like that. Just from being there, like when I used to go there to the summer and what I see, I never really went outside, but that wasn't my thing. Okay. Just going outside of being in the streets. I really didn't start being in the streets for real until like I got older, like college and all that and start like doing stuff because I was just really to myself and just really focused at the same time how to do this and how to, I was like had a strategic plan like I had to do certain things I never wanted to like go above like beyond my age I never was the kid that was 16 trying to drink there was the person that was trying to you know so I always yeah. want to do things I'm gonna drink when I get 21 I ain't no rush <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> back to you you uh quarter you quarter yeah Okay. Every, I mean, it mean everything to me. I mean, it would make me. From the real to the fake, the lies, the snakes, the facts, the, all that shit, I learned from it. You know what I'm saying? So when I step into a room somewhere else in another city or state or wherever, and they accept me for who I am, shit, I gotta thank Cordell for that. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, you, you got some um, real humble, cool people who work hard. That's on uh, your cast, man. Yeah, uh, man, I definitely appreciate that. Why you? I've been, man, I've been dealing, man. I've been dealing with so many folk. Cause like I say, bro, I be dealing with real folk, man. The first nigga, the first joker, the first, I can't even say joker. My partner that I really started the show with, the first scene I ever shot and was serious with, with zones. Mm. My partner passed, a nigga killed him, passed away, long mm. little had money. You know what I'm saying, yesterday. Was it, you know what I'm saying, remembrance day for, you know what I'm saying, day past, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like 
928 is like real serious day for us. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, yeah. I ain't really do much yesterday, man. I just kicked it. Cause like a lot of joke, a lot of a lot of dudes out of bit that have been on the show and folk be like, why well, ain't on the show no more? He may have passed away or me. He may have joking on went to jail. Like one of my partner got 30 years. Another mm. joker got, baby 3J got two years. Goddamn. That money got killed. Goddamn. Shot the body. It's, it go on and on, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, rest in peace to the one we lost, you know what I'm saying? Freedom ones, they, they, they that's still here with us to it backwards, man. You know what I mean? So, we just keeping it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? We keeping that lame alive. Yeah. We just keeping it pushing, man. They are, and they family can always go look at episode four and see them on there. You feel what I'm saying?